Newcastle Fans TV. Hello everyone, welcome back to NFTV. Uh, we are carrying on the transfer theme. Today we're going to talk about players who we think need to get out of the door. I'm joined by Fordy, I'm joined by Sam and I'm joined by dressing gown Liam. Um, not in his dressing gown. He's not Go for change, look let me get out of the way. He's got gloves on. I've got Newcastle gloves on like. He's got gloves on, it's 18 degrees. Uh, Fordy, I'm going to come to you. List some players off the top of your head who need to go. Oh, okay. Um, the two long stars for their own Ooh, development. Controversial. Yep. Now, are you going to upset Sam? Yeah, that's what I'm here for. That's what I'm here for. We'll come back to that comment Sign in a sec. Him. Sign him to sell him. That's what, that's what my opinion was. The sign up to make some money off him. Yeah. I think personally, I think for their own development, they need to go, especially Matty. Um, he's not going to get into our midfield anytime soon. So you loan him? He's 19, 20 no, years old still. You give him no, a good championship loan. Matty's, Matty's, Matty's never going to make it. Matty's never going to make it. In the exactly. I hope he knocks you out next time he sees you around Shields. Hi. Same with him. Right. Seeing as you lot are getting bust up to Matty, I'm just saying for your own benefit, Matty, if you ever watch this, get out of Newcastle right now because again we're going to a next level and I don't yeah. think Matty Longstaff no disrespect to the lad is taking us there Sean again people might have a case that you know he's got a future here maybe but I think once we get to that next level that next round of big money signings does Sean Longstaff fit in amongst those big money signings not for me so I would probably sell him now whilst we still can get a decent amount for him. Like you said, we signed him on a contract, so now it protects us more than anything yeah. to get better money for him. So the two long staff have to go for me. I just want to butt in because yep. Sam's having a fit hour there. Oh. I said this the other night and, and keep selling on. <laughs> um, I agree, I agree with you because yeah. I think the long staffs have. I know Sean's saying he's dealing, he will be here, but if I had my way, I'd be, I'd be saying Tara to both. And I, I love it, sorry, and I love it from the whole yeah he's one of our own sort of thing it would be great to have them in the team don't get me wrong but as I said is he the next level no there's only a couple of players that take us to that next level currently in this squad and he's they're not one of them go on then have your say so he's been in and out of the side over the past few years he's not been coached as none of the squad have under Bruce horrendous injuries was awesome when he first came into the squad under Rafa. Pep Guardiola said when we beat them at home 2-1, they couldn't cope with him. Their, their midfield couldn't cope with ours. And we had Sean Longstaff and Isaac Hayden in there. <laughs> if Eddie Howe can get him anywhere near to that player that he was then, why would you not keep him? Because now we have... You've got to think what we're in now. We've got a budget, an actual proper budget. So we can actually bring in high quality players yeah but that so, Sean Longstaff is a high quality player that Sean Longstaff Man United wanted 50 million quid yeah, but that Sean Longstaff United, was being mooted for a freaking England call up and being United, touted as the next Michael Carrick listen we've all had their moments <laughs> as Newcastle fans where we've had players I mean we could have a show reel of you just doing that probably for... probably yeah like when we've all said oh we've jumped on the Shelby train Shelby should be an England squad and then we've had 10 Shelby stinkers in a row like Let's, let's, let's be honest, come it's, on. It's too soon to get rid of Sean. You need Have to you give him that skills? time under Eddie Howe to see what Howe can get out of Sean, get him back to hundred like injury-free. Is he, is he a top six player? He could be. We don't know. He's not right now. No, right now, of course so he's not. Is, but he is, could be. Is this his last saloon? Yes. yes. Of course it is. Of course it is. All I'm saying is it's too soon to get rid. It's, it's, it's last chance saloon for a, a lot of players in that squad. But why would you not? Why would you not keep him now to see what Eddie Howe can do with him? Same can be said for the likes of Jamal Lewis. We've got him here. Why do you need to spend 50, 60 million on getting someone who we could be having to buy back in however many years? Look at Ivan Tony. You put a clause in. We, we, we actually boxed smart this time and actually put a clause in rather than like... Oh, I'm strong, didn't we? Yeah. Rather than sell him for pittance and then we have to buy him back and they'll watch them score goals against us. But I don't think right now, if we go out and sign a Paqueta and someone else alongside him, does Sean Longstaff get in that midfield? No. What, with Bruno? Are you mad? Bruno's... What do you mean with Bruno? Of course with Bruno, not instead no. of Bruno. No, but no, no, he no, could eat Sean Longstaff, the prime, proper Sean Longstaff, could get in... Prime, a... proper, we still two games, he two put, good uh... games. He could get ahead of yeah. Shelby and Willock. He Why had not? two good games. He put um, Van Dyke on his ass. to be fair, in the Liverpool yeah. game. Yeah. What he could easily get in ahead of Willock. I, I, I personally would put him ahead of Willock now. Yeah. And he could easily get in ahead of Shelby. I mean, that's not saying much. I, I, do, I do want to say... Well, Willock's 
You I start in midfield. Well, looks ahead of him. I know, I know, but I didn't want to sign Willock permanently. It's too soon to get rid of Sean Longstaff and Matty. You need to give him a good prop. So Matty and Elliot Anderson need to go in the championship next season on loan. No, nah, they need to go permanently, but yeah. We'll move on from that. Yeah, yeah. We'll, dis we'll agree to disagree on that. Come on then, we've got some more names, so you're real enough. <laughs> Give me that now. <laughs> right. Long stuff. Right, so we, we, we're going back a little bit. We, we're getting rid of the, the defensive um, trio of Fernandez, Kieran Clark, and who else is there? It's, it's another one that always gets on my nerves. Probably Emil Kraft. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, listen, Man stop. Mankeo, get rid of Mankeo. Oh, yeah, probably him as well. They, oh, sorry, let's make that quartet then. Yeah, both of them too. Because, again, Kieran Trippier, when he's injured, you're not, you're not edging him out of the team. Nice. Let's face it. And, again, if we get a backup right back of decent level, then, sorry, Kraft and Mankeo are not seeing the light of day. So, Clark's that, gone, Fernandez's gone. Have, Trent, then, if we know Trippier has already first choice, though, we can have a... No, but we're just not mediocre right back. We can have an, you can an average. You can keep one of them. We can keep one of them, but again, like if we're getting rid of them, like see you later out the door. Because I still remember the days where Kraft was having absolute nightmare shows. Yeah, he's, he did all right towards the end of the season, but did very well. Did you're, very well. you're very well, and my is all right. Is is different, <laughs> miles apart. Yeah, mine's correct. <laughs> <laughs> all right then. Um, but yeah. You can keep one of them yeah, too. You it's keep, not desperate. You yeah, yeah, yeah. You, can keep, you can keep one of them for now, but obviously they both have to go eventually. Um, but definitely Clark and Fernandez have to go because, again, yeah. we've got Cher, we've got Dan Burn in there, we're probably going to sign Botman, hopefully, and Lascelles. That's your oh, four. We know Dummett's staying for a Dummit, testimonial. Dummett's there for your kind of last year. For your testimonial. He's well, staying there for his yeah. testimonial. Come if, on. If there's an injury crisis, he'll play, won't he? He might get a cup game, and, but he's not going to be playing. 20, 30 games a season, is he? No. Hopefully not, because he doesn't get past the halfway line. So yeah. you need a left back that's going forward. What about the two left backs? Well, we'll class Matt Richie's a left back, yeah. Richie's gone. And what do you do with Lewis? Lewis on loan. Liam, I'll come to you. Would you agree on that? Uh, aye. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that great insight. <laughs> I'm trying to think. I said I just couldn't think. Of, like, we're just kind of. No. But um, I think. I think Lewis could be a good player, but I think under Steve Bruce, he's went massively backwards. I think when Nor when we're signing from Norwich, he looked a good player on the Norwich team when he came to ours, and he just looked. Thank you. Uh, he just looked. He just he just looked poor. Um, but I think Richie's going to Southampton or Portsmouth because obviously that's where his family's from. I think so. Yeah, he's been he's been one of the most important yeah. players of the past five six years at yeah. Newcastle. He really has. I can't speak highly enough of him. It's just it's just the time's come. I mean, it probably his came legs, his last legs year. Have gone, haven't they? Yeah, uh, to a point, yeah. But yeah. he's been pushed out of position, forced into left wing back. Then Bruce left back in a four. Jesus, it's a shame that you can't do a testimony for like five seasons. Yeah, because yeah, again, he deserves yeah. it. Yeah. He really again, deserves it. He's he's put in more work than some of the players that've been there a lot longer than him. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So I would give him a testimony over maybe not over Dummett. You're gonna be left with six players. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah. I know. I, I'd chuck Hayden in that category as Richie as well, oh, if Hayden oh, does said, go. No, not Hayden. Hayden. No, I love Hayden. Hayden's again. Gone. I love Hayden, but Hayden's I think gone. he'll go. Hayden's gone. for me, I think you've seen from his tweet um earlier in the week that he's he, it looks like he's on his way out. Um I, <laughs> I don't think he's that calibre of a player where we can just have him on the team anymore. I just think we don't suit his style of play anymore. No. But I the think he's a great old. squad player if, we want, if we're going to improve because he's, all, he's the only one who's defensively out and out. Mm. He can fill in at set, when he filled in at centre back and when he filled at right back, he didn't look out of play. No, he, did a, he did a great job for us and I think if we kept him for another season... He's probably a utility player. Yeah, and then we allow Bruno to go forward more because again, Bruno at the moment is doing the dog work for Shelby. And he's done it for six months. Can oh, he do it for six months? Add harsh on Shelby because no, I think he's grafted. Not. I think he has. No. You just don't like Shelby. No. You never have. I Sh do Shelby, like Shelby, Shelby high press. He does the high press. When Shelby's on form, there's not a lot of people that can match him. But again, that's not a lot of the time, is it? Come on, be it's honest. Better under Eddie Howe, it's much it's better, better, but again. Better. Shelby seems to have spells with, with the, when the manager first comes in that he tries his hardest and then like sort of drifts off. Thank you. It was, it was, it was, it was like it's almost like you need like a Sean Longstaff there. Who? Who's that? Exactly. <laughs> but I was I would keep Hayden for the foreseeable. I know he's he's probably signed off and all the rest of it, but again if you keep Hayden, it allows Bruno to go a bit forward and again Bruno we, should be box to box. Exactly. We all see what Bruno can do going forward. Do you know what I'm saying? So I would keep Hayden, but I think by the looks of it, as you said with his tweet, he's off. Yeah. That's why I would put him into the category of with the same of Matt Ritchie, that he's been 
again, one of the most important players over the past five, six years. I love him to bits, same as Richie, but it's just the time's come. What about the four wingers? So, <laughs> I think you probably could pull this quote up, but I'm going to go with it again. Jacob Murphy, I still think we've got the wrong twin, even though they're both probably poor. But, um, yeah, Murphy's the first to go, if we're talking wingers. You all know my thoughts about the Roadrunner, a.k.a. Uh, Miggy. There's a guy out, out screen who knows full well what I'm talking about. Oh, Liam says exactly the same thing, don't you? Yeah, he just <laughs> runs. That's how he got a T-shirt. Yeah, I actually bought a T-shirt that had uh, Miggy runs a lot. Uh, like, you know, with the whole Grealish comment, he wasn't too far off from it. I know he's one of ours, so... You only always protect your own, don't you? And exactly. Grealish is a bit of a dick. But, yeah. And we can say that, but not exactly. an outsider. Incorrect, yeah. Yeah. And we were talking before about players, you know, needing to two feet being able to use their right foot and the left foot Miggy hasn't got a right foot when he's out on that right wing he always has to go all the way around to come back and, and start an attack but apart from the one time that he didn't and he scored that like worldie him. against Palace he's late to dodge him yeah, yeah it, it's, it's one of them if he stays fine if he if he goes then the squad will evolve a bit more well, there was news there was rumours that um, the club like the seniors like him the, the, they like Man of Stavely, it's quite like him so, uh, of course because he smiles a lot he's great he's very photogenic put it that way Serena yeah. must love him oh take a picture listen I'm not looking for models I'm looking for yeah, pictures you're photogenic I know nice. I know it's his face isn't it beautiful <laughs> but at the same time I want players that can actually play do you know what I'm saying if we're linked by who's someone brought up Diaby yeah. do you know what I'm saying like I want players that can play if we're talking wingers we're keeping ASM of course we're all in agreement on that right and again probably the other one would be Ryan Fraser because yeah. he can actually cross the ball but Jacob Murphy no Miggy you know if we get a good offer of him see you later I think that's, I think that's like with most players I think like if we get a good offer for most players, I think most players will probably go. With players like Miggy, though, given their contract length, the time has come whether you've actually got to sell them whilst they've still got value or you've got to offer them a new deal. They're, yeah. at, uh, they're at a crossroads because Miggy's been here, what? Two and a half years, three years. Three and a half years? Yeah. What did he sign? Half. Four and a half year contract, five and a half year contract? So he hasn't got a... Two years left, hasn't he? Exactly. exactly. So now you either offer him a new deal or you sell him. And lastly, the strikers. Well, only one remains, really. That's you, Callum. You would get rid of Wood. Yeah, listen, we paid 25 million to relegate Burnley. We know we did. Worth every penny. Take that, Ian Wone. <laughs> but we know we did. Look, he doesn't. So, I, I wasn't so, excited so, by that sign at all. I'll ask you this again then. So, we sell Chris Wood for whatever fee. Gale will probably go on a free. Yeah. That only leaves one striker, though, and that's an injury prone striker. Surely you got to keep one of the two. No, we go out and st spend some money. We go out and spend some money. Here you go. <laughs> Five players left, everyone. Are you, are you forgetting? <laughs> we are rich as fuck. I don't know if you have to bleep that out, but no, we're rich as fuck. fuck so, yeah. so exactly. So we go out, sign two top quality strikers, and then get rid of the fodder. Dwight Gale. I don't think that's possible. No, no, I don't think. What do you is. mean? So it's financial fair play. You got to think. Not more just that. I just don't think you'll have three strikers at the club vying for one position. Would be happy. So if you say if you go and get Hugo, we, 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 for me, we're gonna so we're we gonna sign him. Yeah. yeah, he'll play. If you sign no, another no, no, one, no, no, is he no, happy no, to? No, if Wood stays. He stays a third choice. Yeah, that's what I think. You sign, but then do you reckon Wood will want to be third choice? Because Wood Wood was like a start and a bit. Choices, yeah. He's, he he will never be. He'll never be at a club as big as Newcastle. Mm. And he's thirty now, isn't he? Mm. He'll be happy to sit on a bench and potentially win a medal. Yeah. Ooh, I like your talk, a medal. Yeah. Well, that's what we've got to be aspiring to, people. This is what I'm saying. We need to have top quality strikers in. We can't just have get by on a Chris Woods and a, and a Dwight Gale who's really championship quality. We need to go out, sign one top quality striker. The other one can be up and coming, this Ica TK. Yeah. He's not going to go straight in. And that's it. There's your three strikers there. You've got one pre, uh, Premier League proven striker in Callum Wilson, one who's going to be big money, and then the other one is you know, the next heir to the throne, should we say. That's it. Nick Charles. Vince Charles. I thought you were writing Zogbia. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, I was like, I was he lost think, me. I was like, oh, he lost me on that one. Jubilee. Is he, is he, is he coming to coach the 818? Is, is Charles coming back? I thought he was just at home playing PlayStation. Probably could do with it. But yeah, we've done a video on uh, all the under 23s who, who left uh, last week. But um, yeah, that is it. Looks like the heavens have opened, so it's, it's good timing. It's time to rain in Yorkshire. Good timing, that is it, everybody here from Wakefield. We'll see you later, everyone. Bye bye.